Hello everyone, my name is C, and today I have a Diamond Art Club unboxing. We are looking at uh, Red Moon by Roy Trin. I have to apologize for the lighting. I am doing this before I head off to work and the sun has not risen yet. Um, it is, we're heading into winter here, so daylight is not a thing anymore. <laughs> Anyways, this is a square kit. On the box you have a QR code on the on the side, as well as instructions on what's in the kit and how it works. So let's open this up. I am very excited to have another one of this these kits in this series. Alright, we're gonna set the box aside. In the box, you get your diamond painting, a toolkit as well as this, a mini little logbook sticker. Um, some people put this on the side of the box. I tend to use these on top of my Elizabeth Ward to kind of um, decorate it. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, I didn't even mention. Uh, Red Moon is 55.8 by 83.7. So a nice medium sized painting, depending on how you look at it. Cool. All right, in our toolkit, we get a bag of baggies. There is not enough in here to kit up, but it's an option. Uh, we get a pen with a matching blue squishy. These are random in every kit, so could be different. Uh, here's our little cover minder and the washi tape, little flowers. Uh, kind of tricky to see. Cute. I'm just going to set this onto my banner. There we go. We also get tweezers. These come in square kits. They're super sharp, so be careful. Ah. I poked myself. <laughs> <laughs> I. You get a tray with a little stopper. Some pink heart wax. There's two in here. I'm not going to tip it out. I'm never going to be able to get back in. <laughs> As well as a few multi-placers. Awesome. So I'm just gonna set this aside. Okay. There we go. Cool. Let's open this up. Y'all, I don't know what it is. I can never open these bags. I will destroy it every single time. Cool. Okay, so here's the top. Let's take a look. Oh, look how cute she is. Okay, I'm going to turn it sideways. Hopefully then we can get most of it um, in frame. There we go. And I just happen to have the glare right where her face is. Ah, it's not going to change. Sorry. Okay. So, wrapped up with her diamond painting, we get a little thank you note. It includes what's included in your kit, tips and tricks, another coupon code. On this note, I am a affiliate for Diamond Art Club. I do have a coupon code. Do not feel like you need to use it, but it's down there. There's so many better options out there aside from mine. Um, they have a video instruction as well as their Facebook group. Super good place to go if you want to um, see tips or tricks or completed works. Once you make your first purchase, you can get in that group. And Diamond Art Club often does voting for what kits they should make next. It's a fun place. Um, step-by-step -step instructions, as well as QR codes to their app, and you get 20% off through your first purchase. Awesome. Let's look at the sticker sheet. Cool, cool. All right, so here we go. Red Moon, you have your start and end date. 
a larger image. Cool. As well as the diamond shape, so it's a square diamond painting, 55.8 by 83.7. Cool. Uh, looks like we get two ABs. Anything below 150 will be an AB. The highest I've seen so far is 141, which is the white AB. But anyways, there's two ABs. Uh, 65 colors. L is crystals, so there's two crystals. Z is fairy dust. This is going to be gorgeous. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the canvas, and then we'll get into the diamonds. So, up here at the top. We have Diamond Art Club, Duo Makes You Sparkle. We have a legend on the top left, as well as one on the bottom right. At the very bottom of the canvas, you have a lifetime warranty. This just means that if anything happens, or you run out of drills, or you spill your drills, as long as you are the original purchaser of the kit, Diamond Art Club will be willing to help you out with whatever the problem is. Down at the bottom, you have their socials as well as another coupon code. Just don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. There's always discounts. Bottom left, I know my directions. I know my left or right. <laughs> you have a little image of the pasting area as well as the SKU, the name of the kit, the dimensions, and the artist. So all of Diamond's Art, Art Club kits are legally licensed, which means the artists are being fairly compensated for their work. I am going to, we're going to zoom in just a little and have a quick peek at the canvas. Sorry for the wobbling. I mean, with Diamond Art Club, you usually have pretty clear symbols and like always, these look really good. Um, this looks like down here, like you have your small patches of color blocking, but it mostly looks like a mix of confetti down here, versus, we're just going to take a look at the top here, all of this would be color blocking. Color blocking just means you have a lot of the same color in one section, where confetti, like right in here, is lots of colors, many colors, in the same, like a little section. I have a preference for confetti pieces. But, as Katie from Diamonds and Washi always says, color blocking keeps it, nope, confetti keeps it interesting, color blocking keeps it moving. There we go. Oh, look at her little face. Okay, we're going to zoom out again. Actually, we'll, we'll stay right here. I'm just going to turn this so it doesn't fall off my desk. And we're going to take a look at the diamonds. So first off, this is, what time are we? This is a beautiful color palette. Um, on the bag, you have the skew as well as the name. So if you're like me and store these things, the canvas, separately from the diamonds, you can easily match it up. All right. I'm never going to be able to get these back in that bag. So, I mean... I was going to do one last look at the pretty diamonds, but that's not happening anymore. Let's take a look at these. I... Uh, we might need to zoom in just a little more. There we go. I won't read out every colors, but if there's multiple bags of the same thing, I will. Um, Diamond Art Club makes all their diamonds in-house. Oh, 8, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4... Five bags of 814. It's like a deeper. Alright. Um, so they have a lot of control over quality as well as the um, dye lots. I'm at a loss for words today. One, two, three bags of 815. And. Doo -doo -doo -doo. One, two, three bags of four ninety-eight. It's fifteen nine six one. One, two bags of three. Ooh, three three seven one. 
this is like that dark brown two bags of 3713 lots of pinks and reds which ooh 666 this is one of my favorite shades of red 152 two bags of that guy 150 did I say 152 I meant 150 one, two, two bags of 817. Yeah. Two bags of 223. Two bags of 3778. Ah, here we go. So this is our first AB 133. If you don't know, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, so it it is an iridescent ugh, oh my iridescent coating on top of the diamonds that give off the Aurora Borealis effect, which just means that it oftentimes shows blues, greens, pinks, and purples. In this one, I'm seeing a lot of greens and yellows, but they are gorgeous and tend to enhance or draw your eyes to specific parts of the piece. We will take a look at where these go in just a moment. All right, we got. Oh, we still have two more strands. All right, there we go. I'm trying to do some way that you can still see. Okay, and here we go. Here is our first fairy dust. So fairy dust diamonds have this glitter coating. I don't know if you, you can kind of see it, but it's glitter in the diamond. So it's not like ABs where it'll pull out your wax and that. They're actually quite nice to work with and they just add a, like a subtle sparkle to the piece. So this is Z740. It is an orange one and the glitter kind of makes it look golden. Just small handfuls of diamonds. Oh, look at this. This is all the 310 we have. So I have a feeling that 3371, that super deep dark brown, will replace a lot of the 310s because it can sometimes look harsh. But we'll see how it looks, okay? Oh, here's our next fairy dust. So Z3706. It is a pink. Isn't that pretty? You can kind of... Let's just... Mm. And that didn't do anything. But you can kind of see that it has a silver... Like the glitter is giving off a silver effect. Cool! And then we also have our next special, which is L666. Which is that ruby red rhinestone so they're a clear diamond that are super shiny and sparkly and my lighting and my camera is not doing this justice uh the silver coating on the bottom is just so you can't see the symbol on the canvas through the drill super pretty we'll look at see where that one goes too almost there i think we just have one more fairy dust and one more crystal to find Let's see the numbers. There we go. Unless I blew past them. Nope. So we have L5200, which is just a clear, clear, bleh, a clear crystal. <laughs> Again, with that silver coating on the bottom. But just a tiny handful. And our final AB129. Such so as that, a pale yellow. Nice. And teeny tiny handfuls of that. Cool. We're just gonna shove that aside. And we're gonna adjust the canvas again. I'm bumping stuff and this is just too close and not working. There we go. So where is my sticker sheet? Ah We are looking for the symbols one and two for those ABs. 
um, like the stop or cancel or whatever uh, for the red crystal, a slash for the white crystal, lowercase a for our orange fairy dust, and a plus sign for our pink fairy dust. So let's take a look and see what we can find. Obviously already the one is right in, I will zoom out again and show you, but here's some of the one as well as at the top of her hair. We also have a few of those slashes in here. Oh, and even up here too. So those slashes are the white crystal. Is there anything else at the top? Yes. Okay. So you can see our twos are just kind of highlighting along in here. And it's the same. It's the same along this side. So you have some twos up here as well as along here. Let's move down a little bit and see what else we can find. Okay. I'm also trying to find that. Oh, okay. So we have some more twos in here. The slashes in her earrings are also the white crystal. We have ones along her face and in her necklace. Uh, more twos in, oh, this is a piece of her dress. That's that piece. So there's two in there. What else? I haven't found the plus sign. Oh, no, never mind. There's some of that. It's in her hair here. So there's that plus sign. A couple more of those white crystals. Uh, for how confetti heavy this piece is, I will probably miss something along the way. Um, so we have the A's and 2's in here. So the 2 is that orange AB. The A is the orange fairy dust. And that's kind of a theme throughout all in here. All of these flowers. Let's move this up a little bit more. So we have also all the plus signs. So the plus signs is that pink fairy dust and a small chunk of that orange AB in here. Uh, let's take a look. A cute few of those white ones sprinkled, white crystals sprinkled in here. More in the flowers. So that's that orange AB and the orange fairy dust. More of that in this flower and this flower. And in here, the pink fairy dust in her hair. Let's roll this up a little bit more. Uh, where are we? Over here. So more of that pink. Uh, a couple more of the twos just kind of sprinkled in here. Some of those, that white crystal. What do we got in here? Some more of that pink. A lot of that pink plus sign is that fairy dust. Is that the plus sign? Uh, there's some of it in there. That's not a plus sign. Anyways, um, some more, that's a plus. <laughs> some more of the plus sign over here, so that pink fairy dust. Um, I think that's everything. Cool. I'm going to turn this on its side again. I'll zoom out. I'm going to do a quick refresher on where everything was. Awesome. Sorry for the wobbling. All right. So you have fairy dust and ABs in these flowers. You have the pink in her hair and some of this. As well as on this side, you have the flowers that have the AB and fairy dust, as well as the pink fairy dust in here. You have the ones up at the top of her head, the top of her head up here, as well as in her jewelry. You have the white crystals kind of sprinkled throughout the bottom here, like in some of these patches, but also in her jewelry up here. Um, and there's a couple more of the white crystal and yellow AB all in here. And then, of course, the orange doing some highlighting 
in these pieces. Overall, this kit is absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited to have it in my collection. Roy Trin has all 10, or I say all 10, he has a set of 10 for the Sailor Scouts. This is number four that Diamond Art Club has released, so I'm super excited to see if they do the other six. And of course, I'm going to buy them when they come out. But anyways, um, thanks for joining me while I open up Red Moon. If you like this video, please consider liking or subscribing. I'm always so excited to see when you guys leave comments down below, so let me know what you think of this kit. Was this one that you picked up when it went out? Are you wish, li ah, wish listing it? Let me know down below. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.